Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to humanize MIDI in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I want to record a piano part. Now, I'm not much of a piano player, so I'm probably going to quantize the performance to correct the timing of what I play. So I've already set up a track with a piano pad on it, and it sounds like this. So I'm going to start off by creating a MIDI item right over here. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just draw it from bar one to bar five, because I'm creating a four bar phrase. Then I'm going to go to the track and switch it from record input to record MIDI overdub. This way I can record into this item without creating takes. So let's record the performance. So as you can tell, it's not perfect. It's not even very good, but we can fix it by quantizing it. So I'm gonna double click the MIDI item, which opens up the MIDI editor, where we can see all the notes I played. So the first thing I'm gonna do is quantize it. Go up here to the quantize button, we'll just hit Q, and we're gonna use the grid, which is set to eighth notes, all notes, position and note end. Hit OK. And now it sounds like this. That sounds a lot better. We're also gonna extend the notes by selecting them, right click, and go down here to set note ends to start of next note, which is legato. So the notes are gonna to extend to the next attack. Hit that. So now it looks like this, with our notes being more legato. And it sounds like this. So it sounds perfect. But that's kind of the problem. It doesn't really sound like a live player, but we can fix that using the humanize feature. Let's right click over here, go to edit, and go down here to humanize. We could also open this with the H key. And that opens up this dialog where we could humanize our performance, which is gonna randomize them to be a bit sloppy, but more natural. Right now it's set to selected notes, Let's change it to all notes. Then we can bring up the timing, which is gonna randomize the timing just a little bit, based on how far we move the slider. If we go real far, it's gonna be a bit sloppy. Not very good. So let's bring it up slowly to hear the difference. That's a bit better. Each note is not perfectly on the grid. It's slightly off. We could also humanize the velocity, which is how hard I play the piano. Let's view the velocities right here, and we could randomize them or humanize them right from here. See how they change? Let's hear that difference. And down here, we could change the timing bias. If we leave it at zero, some notes are gonna be early and some notes will be late. 
we could push it to be more early or more late right from here. I tend to prefer late, so it doesn't sound nervous, but more relaxed. Let's hear that difference. Sometimes it's better to hear this with the click off, so let's turn off our click. That's a bit more natural or more human, as a person's not going to play right in the grid. So I'm happy with this. Just hit OK, and we have our part. Now, for a part like this, it could sometimes be more useful to split up how we humanize it. So let's undo this. So it's back to being perfect. And instead, let's work on selected notes separately. I'm going to select just the downbeats of each bar, like here, and here, and here, and here. So now we just selected the downbeats of each measure. So I'll hit H, which opens up the dialog, and I'll choose selected notes instead. Then we could adjust the timing of just the notes we selected. And because we chose just the downbeats, we could randomize it a lot more. So let's bring this up a bunch, adjust the bias to be a bit late, the velocities, let's hear that. And if we choose right here, it's going to re randomize the humanized feature. So each time we hit it, it readjusts it randomly. So we can hit this until we're happy with the performance. Notice what happens. All the notes that are not selected, which is the melody, are perfectly in time. But all the notes right in the bar are now randomized or humanized. So they sound more natural, especially when we set it this high to sound like chords, because each note is hit at a different time, like strumming. That's a lot more natural. But now we can humanize the other notes. So let's hit OK. Hit the keystroke Control I on PC or Command I on Mac. And that inverts our selection. So now we're selecting all the other notes or the melody. So now hit H. And now we could humanize these notes a bit more subtly. Bring this up a bit. Adjust the velocities. Or just the timing bias. Let's hear that. That sounds a lot more human. It's not perfectly in time, but it's also not sloppy. Hit OK. And let's hear the difference. Let's quantize it again. And let's hear that. It's a little too perfect. And here's what it sounds like humanized. Now this is going to work for any MIDI track you record, for drums, bass, piano, or even synth parts. Anything you could think of can be humanized 
or be more natural using this feature. So that's pretty much it. That's how to humanize MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!